In this online lecture, we're going to talk about how to get around the carbocation rearrangement problem when we're trying to alkylate benzene rings. And what we're going to see, number one here, is that fetal crafts acylation followed by reduction is a way to avoid carbocation rearrangements in alkylating benzene. We're also going to see, number two, there are three options for reduction, H2PDC, Clemenson reduction, and Wolf-Kishner reduction. So let's get these concepts down. Let's say we want to synthesize this molecule right here from benzene. Well, it looks like we need to put this carbon right here onto the benzene ring, and this happens to be a three-carbon alkyl fragment. So if we want an alkylate a benzene ring, then remember, we can choose to use friedel crafts alkylation, which means this right here could be our alkyl halide. But however, remember that when the Cl on the alkyl halide complexes with the AlCl3, it's going to make this carbon right here the carbocation. And that's the carbon we want to add to the benzene ring. But remember, this would be a primary carbocation, which is unstable. And we expect to have a hydride shift, which means the carbocation will rearrange and move to this carbon over here which means this carbon that the arrow is pointing to is the carbon that's going to eventually connect to the benzene ring. And notice above, that's not what we want. So how do we get around this problem? Well, let me show you. What you do here is you actually use Friedel Crafts acylation first. And notice our acyl chloride here. It is three carbons long. And remember, our quick product for this reaction we're going to add the carbon that's directly connected to the chlorine to the benzene ring, and we should end up with a product that looks like this. Now, here's what we do next. We take this product right here, and we simply reduce it with H2PD or H2PDC. What this is going to do is reduce this carbon right here, and simply turn him into a CH2 carbon like this. Notice that's exactly the product that we were originally after. Remember, we saw in a previous online lecture that you don't get carbocation rearrangements when you do Friedel Crafts acylation. So it's these two reactions in this order that help us get around the whole carbocation rearrangement problem. But there's something else we should know here. The H2PD reaction is not the only option we have. Instead of using H2PD, you can actually use another reducing reagent, which is this right here. This type of reduction is called Clemenson reduction. And this basically does the same thing as H2PDC. It turns a carbonyl group into a CH2 group that's directly connected to a benzene ring. So we have this as another option. But we also have a third option. The other reaction you could run for reducing is this one right here. This reaction is called Wolf-Kishner reduction. This one also works just as well. Now, it's very important that we know all three of these options. And let me show you why it's important here. Let's say you have this molecule right here. And let's say I want to reduce the C double bond O group on the benzene ring. Well, remember, we can use this reagent right here if we want. We know that it'll reduce this carbon right here. But here's the problem. The Clemenson reduction reaction also reacts with alcohols, which means the product of this reaction would be this right here. Notice we are reducing that to a CH2, but we're also changing the OH into a CL. Now, of course, if we wanted to do that, then that's great. But what if we only wanted to reduce the C double bond O carbon and leave the alcohol untouched? Here's then what we would do. Instead of using Clemenson reduction, we'll just simply use Wolf-Kishner reduction. And the reason why is because all he does here is reduce that to a CH2, this carbon right here, and he doesn't touch the alcohol, which means our product would be this right here. Notice this guy is reduced, the alcohol stays as is. So that's why we like to have these options, because remember there could be more than one substituent on a benzene ring, and we may only want to reduce one of the substituents and not others. So let's look at our key points here. What have we learned? Number one, 
we saw that Friedel-Crafts acylation followed by reduction is one way to avoid carbocation rearrangement in alkylating benzene. We also saw number two that there are three options for the reduction reaction, H2PD or H2PDC, Clemenson reduction, and Wolf-Kishner reduction.